they're a team that play for 60 minutes. They play a great brand of football. They will, they will carry an awful lot of support with them because they haven't been there in a while. And Although I certainly don't see them as underdogs, I, a lot of people will see them in that light and will want to change in county football. It's our responsibility to ensure that that change doesn't happen. Of course, Don Timber are the county champion, or they have been the county champions, the five medals in the back pocket this last ten years, and they're a very experienced team, and they know how to win matches, and of course we have uh, this new dose, the county final, so we have to prepare, we're prepared well for them, and hopefully we can get across the lane. Dave Galera Cardigail, a good Falcher Rover League, a park, Tierney Nipa, a Glenoy, Don Clichicanis, a Creve Chincher, a Fell, a Der Clinterbert, a Gus Bela Habea, Sar Clicha, Ton On Doing, a Gusta Sulung, Gmunimich Galera, Tatnuas. Yes, you're very welcome indeed as you join us here in Chinchernox Park, Clonus, for the Gormley UPPC Senior Football Championship Final for the McDuffie Cup in the year 2012. This is the makings of a great game as they have proved themselves the two best senior teams in the county this year. Both play exciting, open, fast football and if we get that today, we are in for a real thriller. Balabay won this, their last senior championship 25 years ago, that was in 1987, when they beat the Harps on a replay. So this is new, young, hungry Balabay side. Clintibbert won the senior championship last in 2010, so we have a very experienced side there, with good mixture of youth throughout. But all of that is down to passion, and both of these teams are full of passion. And both of these teams have great traditions to uphold. The scene properly set now here in St. Jernitz Park in Clonus for the Garmney UPVZ Senior Championship Final of 2012. The rain has stopped, sun has slightly gone in behind the cloud but peeping out as referee gets ready to start the game. The arena is being cleared, players take their positions around the different areas. Balabay playing from her left to right. Jerry McCarn then checks his watch, waits for players to get into position. Goalkeeper Arthur Morgan, Falkland Hibbert moving down into his goals on her right. A check at the watch, the signal from the umpires and everything is set and the ball is in and the game is on. Torrance looks for help, but his pass gone astray. Desi Moan, Desi making a run, a determined run, turns back in then goes for the shot himself, that's going to drop short, it doesn't, it drops over the bar, it opens the scoring there for Contemporary from the boot of Desi Moan. Great bit of determined play there from Desi and finishing with a good shot over the bar. Clint Hibbert one point after three minutes and a little bit. As Thomas Kerr comes forward. Lifts it off the post, back out again. An opportunity still for them. Christopher McGuinness and left footed. He makes no mistake about that one. He puts it between the posts and over the bar. And the sides are level, one point each. And that point coming at the seventh minute almost of this first half, so it's one point between them, one point each. Bergen McArdle gives it to Shane McQuillan, up into the corner, lovely play here, Christopher McGuinness again with it, Christopher right foot at this time, and that one swinging in, has it swung in well, it has indeed, it's over the bar. <laughs> two points now for Christopher McGuinness and two points for Balabay. One point for Clintibbert and we have almost eight minutes on the clock. Can he make it three? Kind of a silence falls on the Cernic Park here, the stand here. Almost full as Paul kicks that one, it's high but yes it's over the bar it looked from here but it's very difficult to judge from here and the umpire had no mis hesitation he puts the white flag up it's another point for Balabay. three points now for Balabay. one point for Clintibrit as I was saying the stand here in St. Jernick's Park well filled up and quite a good smattering of people on the far side out in the open over there Silvini with a bit of space now, he delivers it out to Connor McManus. Connor looking around, 
decides to take it on himself, still going forward. Then he takes a shot, and that one's spinning in, and that one spun well for him between the posts. That's a lovely point there from Conor McManus. Good work, all his own work. And uh, two points now for Contibur, three for the Pierce, the Pierce brothers from Balabay. And we have ten and a half minutes played in this first half. So an opportunity here for Balabe to put themselves two points in front uh, from the boot of Paul Finlay. And made no mistake about it. Four points now for Pierce Brothers Balabe on the scoreboard. Two points on the scoreboard for Clinton And we have 14 minutes of the first half played. Pray for Connor McManus. Pray for Clinton The white flag going up. Another point for Conor McManus and another point for Clintibbert. Three points now for Clintibbert, four for Balabay. Mark McArdle taking it back over to this side again, then kicks it over into the center. Well, going loose. Here's an opportunity for the number 15, Colin Malone, and Colin Malone puts that one in the back of the net. into the centre for Paul Finley Paul picked it up but drops it again turns to his right gives it to Shane McQuillan and Shane looks around decides to go with it himself forward again and then he has an opportunity he kicks that one and that's off the boot and between the posts over the bar another point for Balabay one point now and one goal and five points now for the Pierce brothers three points for Clontibret and we have 27 and a half minutes played of the first half but, uh, they have one goal and five points on the scoreboard against Clontibbert's three points as we approach half time. Tw 31 and a half minutes gone now. Two minutes of extra time, we were told. A lot of talking to be done in the Clontibbert dressing rooms at half time. And Balabay, steady as she goes, might be the word, as Jerry McCarn. Blows half time, whistle there. 32 minutes of play gone as the teams go back to their dressing rooms to meet their management to hear the story for the second half. The score then at half time in the Gormley UPVZ Championship Final of 2012. One goal and five points for the Pierce Brothers, three points for Clontibbert. Teams back out on the field then. Getting ready for the second half of the Garmany UPVC Senior Championship Final of 2012. Score on the scoreboard. One goal and five points for the Pierce Brothers Balabay. Three points for Clintibret. Ball in. And the game is on the second half of this final. Didn't finish that one, but Jim Malone. Dropping over the bar. What a start for Balabay. A lovely point there. It was a good move, but messed up a little bit. And then finally, Jim Malone getting his hands on it and putting it over the bar. Paul Malone this time slips, gets it, then gets the kick in. And that looks good from here. That's over the bar. They're on a roll at the moment. They can do nothing wrong. Hugh Malone one moment. Colin Malone the next. Tries to deliver it. It goes eventually to Colin Malone. Colin Malone gives it to Chris McGuinness. And Chris McGuinness puts it over the bar. Three points there in fierce succession. Hugh Malone into the centre. Thomas Kerr turns, gives it back to Kim Malone, and Kim Malone has no problem tipping that one over the bar. <laughs> Defence totally broken down here for on the Clint Hibbert side. Oh 
pleasant and easy to take the shot as Paul Finley comes forward. Takes it strong between the posts. Another point. One goal and ten now for the Pierce brothers. Ten points now between the sides. It's certainly a, a big mountain to climb. Good bit of passing here from Clinton Can they finish it? Desi Moan with the high ball. It's going to drop into the square and over the bar as far as I can see. Yes, it is. A nice point there from Desi Moan. That's two that he has scored from similar positions from way out with his left foot. And uh, they need more of that. Four points now for Clinton One goal and ten for Napiercy. Meanwhile, the 45 been taken, Conor McManus. It looks good. Over the bar, a point for it. Has raised a little bit of a cheer from the Clintibbert people, but there's still quite a distance to go. Five points now for Clintibbert, one goal and 10 for Pierce Brothers. Bala Bay, 17 minutes gone on the clock. He's made a little bit of distance. Gives the ball in, Rodney Gunn delivers nicely. Dropping into the center, and there's a punch. It's in the back of the net. Up goes the flag. That's a goal. I think it was Vinnie Corey got the fist to that one. That ball that came in there from Donald Carraher. A weak shot, as we thought, but Vinnie Corey ran in. I see Sean Garman on the ground needing attention. But now that has brought it back within range again. There are one goal and ten on the scoreboard at the moment. One goal and five for Clintibrit. Five points between the sides. Can he make it six? He's going to go for it. He's steadying himself. Normally no problem to him. And this time it's no problem to him either. Because the white flag is going up. And that's another point for Paul Finley. Another point for Balladay, bringing them that little bit closer still to the McDuffie Cup for 2012. Bit of space, he makes use of it. He turns, he's now in trouble. He gives the ball back to Paul McGuigan into the centre for Desi Moan. Desi had scored a couple of points, he needs a goal this time. He's going for the goal, he punches it over into the centre. Vinnie McCorry is in there and Vinnie Corey gets it into the back of the net. Referee going in to see will the flag go up. No flag has gone up just yet. I think it was, uh, to me, it looked every bit a good goal, but uh, referee going over and consulting with the umpire. And uh, we'll see. Yes, the flag has been raised. It is a goal for Clinton Two goals now and five points. 11 points, but there's a goal between them. Three points between them. We're in injury time. Balabe going forward. And that, that. The white flag goes up. A point there from the number four. The crowd are shouting because there's a bit of argy-bargy at the other end of the field, but we'll watch what goes on here. There's argy-bargy up at the top end of the field as well, and the referee is in the middle of it there, and the free is going to be taken. In. Oh, well saved there, and that is the final whistle, and the game is over. The winners of the Gormley UPVC Senior Championship Final of 2012 the Pierce Brothers from Ballabay with a score of 1 goal and 12 points to Clintibberts 2-5 a raggedy end it was but Ballabay had done their work throughout their first half play and control of the ball that was the winning for them. All they had to do was hold on in the second half. Clint Hibbert never really got into this game. And they will be thoroughly dejected as a result of that because they did not show their true form. Or was it that they weren't allowed to? Balabe ran at them fast, ran at them well, controlled the ball, made use of the ball. 
and ended up the winners for 2012. Championship back way back in 2000, the early, the late 90s. We got our intermediates, we were up senior, we were back down. And you know, we've been gathering, our, gathering ourselves in senior over the last couple of years, and we've come, culminated in this now today. And it, it's as special and as good as I thought it was going to be in front of all the people of Valley Bay. It wouldn't have been possible without a whole host of people. Uh, Apologies for this, but of a fair list to get through here. To all the people of Bally Bay, without your help over the last couple of years, but especially this year and the last couple of months, with everything that has been put in place for the team, it's just been unbelievable. It has been as professional a setup as any county team might, might, might want, and that anything that I've been involved in, and there's been some great professional setups. But the, the help that we got from the team, Oh, the, the town, the help that we got from all the families, the mothers, the girlfriends, the wives, making sandwiches. Do you know, the whole town, the way it looks today, we look forward to getting back there. The bunting, do you know, it's just a whole host of people that needs to be thanked. That it would take too long to go through you all, but you know who you are, and thanks very much. family in particular I want to thank and it, it, it just it's undescribable the amount of work they put in they had three soldiers out on the field today and my god we had two even better soldiers behind us Andy and Claudine Wiley <laughs> to the committee run by Damien our chairman Pam our secretary and Deirdre the treasurer just untold work and with the help of the committee they've made this possible for us today and they deserve all the credit along with ourselves. Well done. <laughs> to all of the people that have sponsored us, you know we've had loads of people that have been able to do things and put things in place for us over the last few weeks but there's been one guy that has been out with us over the last number of years. He's been with the club, all the juveniles, he's been with the whole communities around the parish to Hamlet, Latin, Dunhowen, all the people around Maid Monaghan. That's Jerry McElroy. Thanks, Jerry. There's a couple of people. Brendan Macklin, for his, his, his untold work again at the pitch. He's always there greeting us on the way in for training. And it's, it's always a friendly face to see any time we enter there. Thanks, Brendan. To Christy McQuillan. Christy, you've seen the last time we lifted this Cup 87, and I have no doubt it's just as good here today for you. Well done, Christy. <laughs> to the people 
ਨਾਲ ਆਟ ਪੇ ਰਸੇਟ ਨੇ ਵੇਟ ਮੀ ਵੈਰ ਸੇ ਲਾਸ ਵਾਟਸ ਵਾਟਸ ਯੂ ਸਪੇਨ ਟੂਡੇ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਫੈਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਅ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਨਕਲੂਡ ਮਾਈ ਓਨ ਫਾਦਰ ਕੇਅਰ ਫਾਸਟ ਵੇ ਅਰਲੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਈਅਰ ਹੀ ਵੁਡ ਬੀ ਡਿਲੇਡ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਟੀਮ ਆਫ 2012 ਇਨ ਦ ਵੇ ਵੀ ਕੈਰੀਡ ਅਰਸੈਲਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਵੇ ਵੀ ਗੋਟ ਅਰਸੈਲਸ ਦਿਸ ਦਿਸ ਡੇ ਟੂਡੇ just to know the few I want to mention Mickey McCardle an, un- an unbelievable supporter player with Bally Bay the two lads on the team they re- represented him no better than any man that ever could represent their father well done boys we got a couple of unbelievable supporters some close and done he's one Mary Gilmore and there's a whole host Kevin Rachel Duffy the whole host of people I don't want to leave anybody out but we're thinking of everybody up there today and we're thanking them for everything that they've done for us in the past <laughs> the management team we've had a couple of years that we've been on the go for this looking for this trophy for a number of years now last the last couple of years we had Barry Cunningham Paddy Kerr and Noel Mar take us to a semi final last year they don't on told work with us and we're forever grateful for the work that they put in with us thanks Paddy and the other Barry and Noel to the men that took us over this year i know that there's no no one prouder today than our selector Damien McBride thanks a million Damien the John Joe Gorman He came in. There wasn't too many people rushing in to take the job, but he seen something there. He knew that there was a good team and he he, he developed the team this year and he, he he put a good management team in place. And you know, thankfully John Joe, this is for you today and thanks very much for your help all year. For our trainer and coach Fenton Burns. What an unbelievable trainer he is. You know, he's just he's prepared the team. so well this year so well that we were so confident coming into this game today that we had it in our legs we had it in our heads that we weren't going to be beat thanks fenton yeah they hear him nearly done to the contemporary team that's we respect the, the team that's out there for everything that they've done over the last decade I suppose I think you've fought five championships in the bag in the last decade and that's that's an unbelievable achievement and something that you know we can only dream of at this stage um it was an unbelievable game today um I know that just through everything at us there in the in the, in the second half you know make the team we expected just to go back at us he got a couple of goals through Vinny and thankfully for us we were able to hold on in the end but what an unbelievable fight you give us and uh, i just like to thank you for a very sporting game three hip cheers for clint hibbert hip 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 thanks lads and lastly to the bally bay team well done boys an unbelievable achievement the people are telling us if we didn't get it this year we were finished the team was finished we know that's not true we have a young team coming and we hope to be here for a long time to come let's take it on you might know there's a big occasion in a couple of weeks we look 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 forward to taking Mick Duffy with us to the top table let's get back to Bally Bay and celebrate there it is here in Tierney Park St. Clonus the Bally Bay people still don't want to go home they want to savor every moment of their victory and it was a great victory Alabe the senior champions of 2012. Clint Hibbert, well done to you for reaching the final. Unfortunately, there has to be a loser. You met a very fast and very young and a very hungry team today here in Balabay in this Clonus pitch. We hope that you watching it 
have enjoyed our presentation of the Senior Final, the Gormley UPVC Senior Final 2012. From all at Morphy Video Services, until we meet again, Gurumila Mahagav with the Slam.